I've been seeing videos all over TikTok and YouTube talking about Nikola Tesla and this 369 manifesting method, but does it work? Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Mary Kate and I'm a mindset coach, manifesting expert, and founder of mkmagicmindset.com. If you're new here, my channel is all about law of attraction, manifesting, meditations, and more. So be sure to subscribe. I would love to have you. So let's go over what this Tesla 369 manifesting method is. By the way, my husband pointed out yesterday that I tend to say Tesla instead of Tesla. Does anybody else do that? I don't know why I think there's like a Z in there. I know it's not, but I keep saying Tesla instead of Tesla. Anyway, now that I'm all self-conscious about it, if you hear me accidentally say Tesla, just ignore it. You know I mean Tesla. So if you don't know who Nikola Tesla is, don't worry, I'm not gonna give you a whole history lesson, but what you need to know is that he was a really famous inventor and he invented things like the Tesla coil, the remote control, neon and fluorescent lights, computers, smartphones, laser beams, alternating currents, and basically our whole electrical system. I also found out he created something called the death ray, which sounds really intense and kind of disturbing. I don't think that one got created, but look it up. So Tesla was obviously a very brilliant person. He was even quoted as saying, if you knew the magnificence of the three, six, and nine, you would have the key to the universe. So what is it about the three, six, and nine, and how does that affect your manifesting? If you have lights in your house or remote control, hit that thumbs up button. You own something that Nikola Tesla made. So apparently Tesla was so obsessed with the numbers three, six, and nine, he did a lot of like weird kind of superstitious habits. There's rumors that he would walk around a building three times before he was allowed to enter it. And basically everything he did had patterns that had to be divisible by three, six, or nine. So he would do things a certain amount of times, but it all had to do with three, six, and nine. You can call it OCD or superstitious, but that's how Tesla lived his life. And he was pretty brilliant, so. The reason three, six, and nine are divine numbers is because according to Tesla, they hold the patterns to the universe, the golden ratio and other universal equations like vortex math. There is even something about DNA replicating that all use these divine numbers. Math is not my strong suit, so I will spare you in sharing all of these equations and how it all works. And instead, let's get into how it affects your manifesting. So when it comes to this Tesla 369 manifesting method that you're probably seeing all over the place, I'll let you in on a little secret. There is no one way to use this method. If you search through other videos, everybody's gonna tell you you have to do it a certain way. But honestly, it doesn't really matter what technique you use because what you're really focusing on is the three, six, and nine. And honestly, when it comes to manifesting, it's never about the technique. It's about the energy behind it. So don't get too hung up or attached to whatever method you see. Do what works for you. I cannot stress this enough. This is exactly what I teach to all of my clients. Do what works for you. Manifesting in the law of attraction is not a one size fits all approach. You are a unique unique individual with your own beliefs, your own thoughts, do what works for you. Basically, when you're using this three, six, nine technique, you're doing manifesting methods that use the patterns of three, six, and nine, the divine numbers. So here are some ways that you can use the Tesla 369 method in your manifesting process. I'll give you a bunch of options because like I said, there's no one way that you have to do this. I mean, look at all the other videos. They're all going to say, this is exactly what you have to do. And all of them are different. What works for them might not work for you. So find what works for you. And the way you know it's gonna work for you is if it feels good. Follow what feels good to you always. I'll get off my little soapbox now. The way I like to approach manifesting and what I tell my clients to do is to pick one thing at a time. And I know what you're thinking. I know you have a long list of things you wanna manifest and you're ready to make it all happen. But do you ever notice that when you have a long to-do list of things you need to do, you start working on a little bit of each thing and then nothing ends up getting done. But when you take that to-do list and you go through things one at a time and make sure they're completed, that's how your list gets done. When you're trying to do too many things, your energy is scattered and you're not focused and you're gonna end up in overwhelm. And what happens when you get into that place of overwhelm is you freeze or you don't take any action at all and then you'll end up just kind of repeating the same patterns over and over again instead of being able to manifest what you want. So pick one thing at a time. It could be one thing per day, one thing per week, one thing per month. Do what works for you. Customize this for yourself. And another thing to note is that the thing doesn't have to manifest in order for you to move on to the next thing. Just because it hasn't happened yet doesn't mean you can't move forward. Focus on that one thing, and then when you feel ready, move on to the next thing and get to a place where you trust that you did the work for that other thing and it's gonna show up so you don't need to keep doing it. That is the best way to manifest the things that you want. 
When you're gripping and holding on too tightly, you're just pushing it away from you. So let it go. Pick one thing, put your energy into it, and move on. Make it easy on yourself. If you're new to my channel, I like to take the confusion out of manifesting and give you the tools you need to get the results you want. So if you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button and hit the bell notification so you get notified whenever I post a new video. So once you've picked your thing, here are some options of how you can use the 369 method. So for the number three, you can write down three affirmations in the form of, I am grateful that blank happened. I am grateful that I have blank. Whatever you're trying to manifest, put I am grateful and make an affirmation about already having that thing and write it down three times. You could also state an intention three times. I intend to manifest this. I intend to manifest this. I intend to manifest this. Write it down three times. And it doesn't even have to be writing. You could do it three times per day. Set an alarm on your phone and focus on what you intend to manifest and feel it as if it's real three times throughout your day. Find a manifesting method and do it three times. But do something that feels real to you. Do something that makes it feel like it's happening for you now. Don't say, I want, I need, I hope. It's, I am thankful I have, or I intend to manifest blank. Keep it simple on yourself. So now moving on to the six, when you get to these bigger numbers, I think that the best way to approach it, and this might be different for you, but when you get into these higher numbers, it's holding the energy and holding the feeling. So here's what I think is a great option. Six times throughout your day, hold the feeling of having what it is that you want as if it's real. Allow yourself to fully experience it, feel like it's real. Allow yourself to just have that complete relief or bliss or whatever the feeling is. Allow yourself to experience it fully. Six times a day for 90 seconds. 90 seconds might sound like a lot. It's a minute and a half. Everybody has a minute and a half. Set a timer on your phone, get quiet, Six times throughout your day for 90 seconds, hold the feeling of having it. Don't hold it in a way that it feels like you're forcing it or trying too hard. Just allow yourself to live in the experience. It should feel good. That's how you know it's working is if it feels good. Follow what feels good always. And the really interesting thing is that if you do these 90 second intervals six times throughout your day, that equates to nine minutes. Do you see what's going on here? The three, the six, the nine, it's all connected. It's all part of universal patterns and the divine numbers that Tesla was talking about. And let the nine be up to you. What can you do nine times? What can you write nine times? What can you affirm nine times? What can you visualize nine times throughout your day? Just do something with the pattern of nine. Like I said, it's never about the technique. It's about the energy you put behind it. So when it comes to your manifesting process, what works best for you? What do you connect most to? Do you like to visualize? Do you like to meditate? Do you like to script? Do you like to journal? Make a list of the things that work best for you and incorporate the 369 method doing what works best for you. What works for these other YouTubers? What works for these other people talking about it on TikTok? What works for these other people might not be what works for you. Do what works best for you. Take it and make it your own. Don't worry about if you're doing it wrong as long as you're following it feels good. I actually have another video on what to do if you want to manifest something fast and there's a lot of really great techniques in there. So if you want to take any of those techniques and incorporate it with the 369 method, feel free to do that. I'll leave a link up here and a link down below to that video. You don't want to miss it. There's some really great techniques in there. So here are my final thoughts on the Nikola Tesla 369 manifesting method and does it work? I don't believe that it's some kind of magic manifesting method, but I do believe it works in regards to science and patterns, but it really comes down to your energy and the energy behind what you're doing. If you're just doing something to do it, but you're not connected to it, you're not gonna see the results. So find ways to connect to it. You can do techniques all day, but if you have resistance and blocks around something, it's gonna be really hard to manifest it. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification so you get notified whenever I post a new video. And be sure to check out my website, mkmagicmindset.com. There I have so many more law of attraction trainings, meditations, my digital courses, coaching, and so much more. And be sure to follow my Instagram at mkmagicmindset. There I post tons of daily affirmations and some really motivational content so you won't wanna miss it. And I will see you in the next one.